Hey, what's going on? This is Minister Gold. This is a mix it up tutorial on how to set up entrance commands. Uh, now, what are entrance commands? Entrance commands are when a user uh, like says something for the first time in a stream, then it'll trigger something. It'll trigger whatever you specify to trigger. Um, so in my case, if a user is subbed and they have their first message for the stream, so for example, uh, Govu will have this appear when he says his first message. My name is Govu Masataka Oniwa! Okay. And if he's not subbed, then it will not show that. Um, but yeah, you don't have to use it like I am. I'm just showing you one implementation, one example of how to use it. Let's say you have friends that are not subbed, but you still want them to have entrance commands, then you don't have to put that restriction for them to be subbed. But in any case, I'm going to show you how I set that up. And if you find this tutorial helpful, uh, please give it a like. If you want more mix-up tutorials, uh, please subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions about entrance commands, if you have any ideas on what else I could do uh, with mix it up that could be helpful for you, uh, please let me know in the comments. Okay, so let's go to commands. Well, actually, let me show you. There's actually two places you could do this. So if I go to users, so here's the user that I'm using as an example. Um, this is Govu. You go to custom entrance command, and if you don't, if you haven't edited this before, it'll say add command. I'm just gonna click on the pencil to edit it. Okay. Now over here, I'm actually just calling the command, but if you wanted to, you could add stuff directly, like in here. Now the reason why I don't do that personally is because originally when you get here. Uh, you have to type in the username, find them, then click on their name. And I like to have it over in commands. Um, yeah, I would just rather edit it in commands. It's I feel like it's less to look at um, in commands. But might just be a personal preference. So if you'd rather make it in users, make it in users. If you think it's more convenient to make it in commands, make it in commands. So yeah, I make it in commands first. So I have a command here called uh, govu, uh, same trigger over here. Um, and then I set it up so that he has to be a subscriber, a tier one subscriber for this to activate. And uh, I have a conditional. Okay. Um, okay. So I have the, cl the 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 operator set to or. So the reason why I have these is for a couple reasons. One of those reasons is because Govu has changed his name several times, and because he's changed his name, it would look for the previous username and be like, "Oh, that's not who this character, who this person is." I guess I'm just not going to run the command. And it's it's correct to do that. That was not his name. So I had to add another clause every time he changes username so that the command would run. And then my username is here so that if I want to run it for him, then I can still do that. Um, so that's why we have four different clauses, each for a different username he's had in the past. And FYI, if uh, the user you're making this for changes their username that'll be a problem for entrance commands over here as well so if they're no longer govu but they're govu with an o uh and you don't have an entrance command set up for that then this will no longer work because they're not that user anymore so whether you're on the user side or the command side if they change their name you will have to update the command for that so just a heads up on that but yeah let's go back to making the command And this command is very simple. Um, all I'm doing is I'm showing a video uh, for Govu. So let me expand this a bit. So within this dropdown, I'll click on the action. 
I'll add uh, an overlay, add it. And unlike me, uh, you should name these so you know what these are. I already know what these are, so it's, and there's only one of them, so I, that's why I haven't named it or labeled it. Um, you know, select this, click on, uh, oh, it's already selected, so click on video. I select a, um, a video that I have in my Mix It Up folder. And this is a friendly reminder to put all of your Mix It Up files, any assets, any videos, any images, whatever, um, in your Mix It Up folder, so that if you ever should transfer uh, your files to um, another computer, that it'll just be a straight transfer. You don't have to worry about the files being in different locations. Uh, this is the default width and height. I'm gonna hide myself because you're not seeing everything, uh, possibly. Uh, this is set to 15. Oh, and the screen position is uh, type is percentage. And yeah, left is set to 15. Top is set to 16. And that's how I get it kind of in the top left corner. And the video is, I think, like three seconds. So I set it to like four seconds. And when I play it. And there you go. And that's pretty much it. That is the command. And let's go over to users. Uh, look for your user. Click on the pencil. Go to custom entrance command. Assuming you haven't added a command yet, you'll be clicking on add command. For me, I have, so edit command. And we're just going to go to the action. Uh, hit command. Add it. And we're just simply gonna go to run command. Uh, this is a chat type for me. And then look for the name of my command, govu, and that's it, hit save. And yeah, the next time govu is here, um, his command will run automatically if he is subscribed. If he's not subscribed, then I will run it for him. So I'll just go exclamation point govu. And yeah, that is pretty much it. That is how you set up an entrance command. And yeah, if you have any questions, if you found anything confusing, um, please uh, leave a comment uh, in, well, in the comments. And if you'd like to hang out with me, talk with me about uh, gaming, Twitch, life, mix it up, whatever, uh, follow me on Twitch and I'll see you there. And thank you for watching. Adios.